Okay, let's start. So please write down we have uh, three more classes left after the day. Uh, for today, we will discuss the business model. <coughs> and also for your final project, okay, if you only want to focus on business model, I think that's terrific. If you can complete the whole set of uh, business plan, it's okay. But if you want to only focus on business model, that's even better. All right. So let's uh, begin with this, and we will have the open discussion about your final project. As I promise you, okay, I will help you to step by step, okay, to complete your final project, and which is going to start from today. So I will try to ask you, what is your business model? Okay. Let's begin with this. What is this business model here? I hope you can read it, okay? This, this time is pretty tiny. This is not the only one, okay? It is not only one uh, definition, but I think I, this is good. A business model is a set of assumptions, so we can start with this. Assumption, could be reality, but could be assumption, about how an organization or say a, a company well performed by creating value. So this is a key word. Create value. Okay. How do you create value? For all the player, the player means your customer, your vendor, your employee, on whom it depends, not just its customer. In essence, a business model is a theory that is continually being tested in a marketplace. Okay. You can use this definition for our discussion for the day and also for your final project. And also I will email to you. Okay. I, I hope all of you receive my email, right? Is that correct? I try to improve my email list every week, but I hope at this moment you will already receive at least one or two of my email. We can based on this definition to do our discussion for the day. Okay. So let's begin next day. Let's have an easy case, okay? Let's pick out any company you like. Please follow. Start from this. This. Uh, the top one brand name, global one, uh, I believe everybody will agree that is Apple. Okay. Let's talk about Apple. What do you think? What is the business model? I think this is the easy case. And when we finish this, then we will talk about your business model for your part, your final project. Okay, so, how about customer? Apple's customer. Current consumer. You and me, right? Including almost everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think so far, it is the number one company in the whole world. Not just for the brand name. For the cash flow, for the technology, for the leading position, I believe it is the number one in the whole world. But I think it is not that simple. When you see iPhone 5, what did you see? Oh, by the way, how many of you got your iPhone 5 already? None? What? iPhone 5. No? Okay. So mm -hmm. let me ask you the first questions, the, the opening questions for the day. Okay. When you, when you see iPhone 5 on the market, what did you see for Apple? Money going 
I see uh, Apple can follow the, uh, the market trend to uh, try to uh, attract more customers. For example, let's go and make, make a bigger and the speed. Okay, this is, a, this, is the open, this is the open question. Okay? This is no right answer. At least, at least we saw one thing. After iPhone 5, is stock broke the record. Right? The stock is more than $700. But that is not my question. Because today we want to see the, the business model. So I want to open these questions to everybody. When you see iPhone 5, what did you see for Apple's future? Say the next year, two years, three years, five years. Even though we know, we, we, we cannot tell it a lot. We cannot tell it very accurate. But I just want to narrow down my questions. When people, I mean you, when you see iPhone 5, this product on the market, what did you see? Apple's future in the next three years. I was in the industry. I was looking for Yeah, go ahead. Oh. <clears throat> I see first is the upgrade. People, is, whoever has the old one will upgrade, which means that it's so let's stop. Yes, then let's stop because I may stop you. Yeah, when you say upgrade, so reflect to my questions, customer, right? So you mean uh, you see the customer is a repeat customer. Repeat yeah, it. Maybe including the new customer like me, maybe, but you may see more repeat customers who purchase iPhone 3, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, and right now they upgrade to iPhone 5. So right now, you, at least you include one group of people that's repeated. Go ahead. Then I, I see uh, there's a lot of uh, related products they're going to have coming out. So number two, related products. So can you give us a little bit hint or example? Maybe similar to iPad or something related to that. Let me ask you, you, okay, how do you feel the future of ITV? ITV? Yeah. You think this is good, right? Yeah, it's a good idea, good future, and also maybe bringing more revenue, create another market. Another, yeah. Field. Another market, another field. This is expandable, right? And then also, uh, I see that uh, they're, they're probably going to have more competitors. For example? Um, other than Android, maybe they, they're going to have some more people coming out with the bigger screens and uh, or uh, thinner or more uh, apps. So. The other side for Apple, they're going to beef up uh, uh, their apps, uh, the, the store, app stores, and then um, related to this new features, which okay. I don't know. The reason why I want to open uh, Apple as an example, I don't just want to focus on Apple. I just want to use this one as an example to see if we can find out business model. Then I'm going to link this idea, this concept to your final project. Okay, so we rather spend a little more time, a little bit more on Apple. Okay, so right now Stephen just say it's a good one and you may create more business and we already saw the repeated customer coming back. Uh, how many sold already? More than you have an idea? Five million or for the first week? The news I read is five million, but I think it's been a week already. Maybe more than that. And they're focused. They're focused by the end of the year is more than uh, 10 million. Uh, but I want to focus on this. Let me repeat my questions, okay? When, when you, when me, when everybody see iPhone 5, how do you see Apple's future? Well, I just think that iPhone 5 is not going to last. There's always going to be right after that. I, I bet within six months, they're, they're already working on iPhone 6. I hold it up, hold it up, okay, hold it up. Very important. I, 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 I think I agree with you. 
at least I agree with you uh, for this product it will not last for too long so this comment eventually relate to one very important business model for Apple do you know you understand their product meant not to last for too long if you see one product introduced by Apple lasts for three years, you know they got trouble. So eventually there's one very, very important factor incorporated in their business model is they try to in introduce any product that life probably around two years, even shorter. How long is the 4S? Yeah, a year, year. Right, four years is in the memory of Stephen Jobs. Right, so it's with So yes, go back to your comment. One of very very important factor in elements in in the uh, Apple's business model is it means not to introduce the long life span product, usually a year, probably not more than two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. when I look at their business model, I tend to think a little more of a marquee end of it. They're looking for cool, trend-setting position. That's what their position is. Okay, all right. As far as technology. All right. So stop for a while. If the product is cool, okay, leading technology, so that is another key factor in its business model. When we talk about cool, okay, so what kind of customer you are looking for? If the product is cool, right? So what kind of young generation? Young generation. Close enough, but I would say my my conclusion is if one company uh, introduced the product, at least coolest is one of the feature to find out is customer. I would say the customer is more related to like fan more like fans. When we define fans, we really mean follower. You are looking for your follower. So it's more like a religion, it's more like a fashion, it's more like a culture. So you can see, so, so at the beginning, well, who is the customer? Everybody. But no, wait a moment. Because the product by itself is show life. You spend $200, $400, $1,000. You don't even think about the life. You know whenever, when next time Apple introduce a new product, you're going to throw it away whatever in your hand you will follow. So when we say cool, really mean we already find out our customer. Our customer is not nobody. Our customer is more like fan. Then we need to find out, or even we need to create a fan. When we say fan, it's more like a rock song, super rock song star. You know, you have your fan. Fan sometimes really mean they don't think about that. I just feel you're cool, and whatever the song you you introduce, I I just follow it. I'm into it. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad or whatever, I'm into it. So, you know, at least right now, you know, we have something in my mind, right? In your mind, right? When we say, what's the business model of Apple? Mm, what's that? But right now we know. The product line may be very short. And also, you can see it's not cheap. Always is, is, is the, leading, the leader in the price. And always when they introduce a new product, it's not cheap. The price eventually is not issue at all. When you look at the, the product list, there is no cheap thing, and you 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 seldom see Apple give you the discount. Something on sale is very very rare, very very special case. But Apple doesn't worry about it. Apple never worry about the price, because they very smartly they define who they are, who are there customer. Their customer eventually 
are their fans, and they are not just maintain. Just like Steven said, they are not just only maintain the fans. They create fans. I was not fan probably two years ago, but but I'm a, I am I am today, and tomorrow somebody new. They are, you know. So I think one very important game, okay, is they. Of course, how can they create a fan? By design, I believe. By design. But again, go back to my initial questions. When you see iPhone 5, what did you see? What did you see Apple's future in the next three years? What did you see? So right now, we gradually, gradually, we, we see through the business model. When Apple introduced their new product, they already, in, in its mind, they already define who is their customer. How can they predict, say, five million in the first week, 10 million by the end of the month, and so much thing in the next quarter? How can they predict? Because they already find out who is their customer. So right now we have a short life product, we have a very cool design, we have a very loyalty customer. When we say customer, it's not really the customer, it's really the follower. Follow me in whatever they introduce, they will go for it, they will go. So what else? I have a question. I, I think why they keep coming with a uh, new product yeah, go ahead. are because it has, has a lot to do with also all the ads are just uh, enjoy it. If you have a lot of new application, to me, because I come from the software background, mm -hmm. because every time you see how the way software keep have different reviews coming out, coming out, yeah. and you see all now, all because mm -hmm. Apple, iPod, whatever, they all tie to a lot of ads up, application on that little tiny thing. So if every time there's more new ads up, more new software come up, then they will create, you know what I mean, they, they will have a, their new update to include those. That's why you say the price never, you know, get lower. Because the price get more expensive if you spend more, more of the ads on. Just like Android, it's very expensive too. And they allow free developer, you know, to add into their own creative. So I think that's another reason why they keep changing. And that's why, you know, because normally, you always thought a hard way, you know what I mean? How a type of device usually lasts a little longer than that. But in Apple's scenario, I think it's very different. They just don't approach the same way as the... You know, yeah, I think this is a very good comment. Okay, so hold on one second. A very, very good comment. Because I think we all agree, for today, nobody can define what Apple is. Apple is not a hardware company. Apple is not a software company. Apple is not just only designer. Apple is more like a, a hub or like a black hole. You attract everything. So one thing uh, she just mentioned, one, one player for Apple is the app. And from everywhere, because the number of apps eventually increase every, every day. So another factor for Apple to succeed is to create, to attract more apps player coming in. But how? Right now we have one problem here. Not really the problem, the issue here. You can see Apple try to separate itself from the whole industry. And this philosophy is from the day one, from Steve Jobs, right? For today, even for the future. And I don't see too many companies like Apple just try to separate, try to divide itself from everybody else. So, what is the magic for the Apple to attract more app coming in, however, keep itself from anybody else? Yes, go ahead. Um, I don't know, I'm, just, I'm not really a tech savvy person, but from the way I look at it, I feel like just like what you said, 
I think they're trying to be the leader themselves in no matter um, what happens, what um, the competitors do. Like say, um, for example, at the um, more to, um, in the market end, I would say you know, a lot of people are trying to develop you know, with, with um, cell phones with, more, uh, with bigger screens, with more functions. But with them, they're, they're, they're just increasing the size a little bit. But they are still holding what, whatever they, they're having. They're not, they're not following others. They're trying to be the leaders of themselves. And then, um, like the, uh, the Mac, right? They, now they cut up the um, Google, then they, they cut up um, YouTube, right? Well, um, they're trying to do something in the lead. Then they, um, they're aware of what's happening around them, but they're not following them. They're trying to be the lead. Okay. That's so I think, right, this is the rule number one for Apple. They, they must keep their leading age. They, they must keep their leading position. They must. And I feel like, you know, they don't want to follow others, they want to create something, they want people to follow them. Yes. Maria? What I was going to say in addition to what I don't, I don't know her name. Well, you see, what, with, I mean, if I design a product, I want mine to be unique, high competitive. No one can follow, no one can design, but other company, other companies can, can follow to what, you know, if, if my product is selling high, then they're going to try to follow what, I, what I'm doing. And they can even make a better product. And that's what Apple does. That's why iPhone 1, 2, 3, until now we're, we're on 5. Um, within six months, like I said earlier, it's, they're probably working on I, iPhone 6. When other companies follow through, they can you know, um, make a better one. So I'm saying, um, that's why it doesn't last because there's always better coming up. All these uh, manufacturers that can also make a better one. So Apple is more like uh, the mouse running on the treadmill. Can I stop? You must run it, running quicker and quicker. Yeah, I I have several things to uh, to share here. Uh, first one is that uh, what's the difference between Apple and the other computer? They started from a computer, and actually this iPhone or iPad is a computer. Um, the basic difference, what I understand is that most of the computer was designed and then um, for people to use, but their Steve job was trying to define this one in two things. One is simple. It has to be very simple. Everybody can use it. The second one is user-friendly has to be very user friendly. So what I heard from the people in Apple is that every day there's thousands of ideas coming out and uh, bringing it to uh, Steve Jobs. And his job is turn down the idea. <laughs> so he was trying to turn down millions of ideas and then pick up only the simple, very, very simple, straightforward one and then implement that. And if, if you try to put one more button in there, try, try to increase some functions uh, to make it complicate, it will turn it off. So, um, so this become a very closed system. It's because of its closed system, and you cannot add anything to it, so it's a reliable system. They have very simple QA that they can follow through. So everything becomes, it's not like uh, if you, your uh, PC, you have to test all kinds of software, all kinds of hardware, making compatibilities. So it become like a system, even you make it uh, so good, it's still not reliable. So this, 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 so basically they're very, they're standing in the uh, leading edge. So it, they got to be very uh, innovative. This is probably the United States, America has did that. And so for manufacturing wise, uh, the reason why I, people don't have iPhone, it's not because we don't want it, it's we cannot get it. That's true, sure. maybe it's true. Yeah. So since, uh, since the last Saturday, I saw a few of my friends already show off their iPhone and Facebook. And so far I believe Apple maybe is the only one I can make people to show off. 
if I got sent soon, I may, I may not post on this. Facebook say I got it, you know. But today, if you got one, you, you know, at least some people would like to show up. But, but let me pose you one question. Let me pose you one another opposite question. If you were James Cook, James Cook, right? Is James Tim, Cook? Tim Cook. Tim Cook? Tim. If you were Tim Cook, okay, you were Tim Cook, what is your nightmare every night? When I say nightmare mean, what did you mean feel really, really wrong about? Um, we still a lot of good things so far at this moment. But if you were the CEO of this leading age company, what may be your nightmare? Uh, let me give one example. I, I, told, I was told one story, say, the nightmare for Bill Gates is, yes, you know, the other, some other day there's another operating system better than Windows, of course, right? But if you are Tim Cook for today, what could be your nightmare? And let's narrow it down when you see iPhone. Let's forget the maps, okay? Maps is only a very, very minor thing, okay? I think they're gonna solve the problem. But let's narrow it down. If you are Tim Cook for today, and even today is a very happy day because iPhone 5 made another record. But let's starting from iPhone 5, from this product on, if you were Tim Cook, what could be your nightmare? Manufacturing. Specify or okay. elaborate. Elaborate. Because this model has become so big, uh, the supplier chain has become more competitive now. Okay. So, uh, we try to get to the cost down, okay. and uh, because of that, they're, they're short on labor right now, and also uh, because of their leading technology. So, the like the screen right now, the display is a bit, and uh, so there's all kinds of shortage right now. So your nightmare still belong to the good nightmare, I think. <laughs> so still, you know, belong to the good nightmare because your nightmare is what. Supply chain cannot catch up the demand, so you need to think about how can you catch up with the manufacturing. Right? Any other nightmare? Could I think be? Yeah, I think if uh, the economy in China slow down, okay. and I think the, the big market, the biggest market is in China right now. So if the Chinese people cannot afford, our economy is uh, hit bad. So there's not much consumer. So, so one of your concerns, if you are Tim Cook, is that you may worry about the demand mm -hmm. from the global, yes. from the other section in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the global market. Any other else? I think, uh, I think that uh, people just think you are, you are the coolest anymore. And you think it's not good enough? It's not, it, you're not good enough, you are not cutting edge and enough um, than other competitors like uh, HTC and Samsung, and uh, your followers start to think, oh, HTC is cooler than Apple. So How about let's, let's assume this, okay? Assuming we are fans, okay? We are really the, 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 the true fans of Apple, and you are very loyal to, to the Apple since a long, long time. Every generation, you use it. So, However, when you see this product, iPhone 5, compared to 4S, and only like within one year, you need to spend another $200, $300, and when you receive this, and from the bottom of your heart, you really like to follow up whatever the product they introduce on the market. But after you spend $200, $300, when you receive iPhone 5, compared to 4S, Say so within one year period, what what is your response? It's a, it's a fan. You feel discouraged. You feel exciting. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. If you if you were Tim Cook, you really want to hear something from from your fans. So we we are true fans of Apple. So 
you know, this, this is the life, right? You spend $20, you get an iPhone 5, replace your iPhone 4S, within one year period, when, when you receive this product, what, what is your feeling? If you want to tell something to Tim Cook, what would you want to tell Tim? Worthy, happy, you're great. I, ju I just want to hear something and then we'll go back to the business model. Because you know, one of the very key issues for Apple's business model is fame. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Can do, do, do Apple have a very eagerly participate in the product recycle? This is another issue I want to bring up. This is another issue, okay? Yeah, no it's creating a lot so of global as far waste. As, as far as you know, what is the recycling policy or strategy from Apple? You, you heard anything about that? When they introduce iPhone 5, do they have any policy, say, we paid you $20 if you turn it in 4S? You heard about that? This is another issue I want to bring up. Even this is a big issue. So eventually, our conclusion. Eventually, I'll, I will go back to our conclusion. When you, when we, when I see iPhone five, what did you see Apple's future in the next three years? There's a lot of issue we can talk about that recycling. Another eventually, you just brought another business model related to Maria's. One of very important business model for Apple products. It must be mean for short life. It must be very, very short. Otherwise, it cannot bring in repeated customer. It is very, especially for fan business, just like movie. Each movie studio, they must introduce movie over and over again. Even if it's the same plot, same plot, same actor, it must introduce the almost same movie in the very, very short period. Otherwise, you lose your fans. That's very important. However, in order to, you know, implement your business model, that is, you repeat your short life product and have your customer repeat it. But in another side, do you have your recycling policy? So, yeah, we can follow this. Everybody hear about this? Did Apple ever say you bring him back your 4S to our station? We give you $20. Any, any, any news like this? If no, how does people dispose 4S? Let me ask you if you get iPhone 5, how do you do your 4S? Or are you going to do your 4S? Sell online or? So is that very popular? Anybody throw it away? Can you imagine? Anybody throw it away? Yes, if yes. not throw away 4S, how about donation. you 3? Yeah, I would make donations. <laughs> you still made it. But doesn't matter, okay? Let's, let's put it this way. Imagine. Doesn't matter you sell it, your storage, your whatever. If Apple each year or each other year introduce a new product and for each product if they are lucky they always broke the record how do they handle the old model go to the another different continent um, I just want to make a comment I, I don't know sometime last month I, I saw it on, on TV. You you know something to something about any iPhone. If you own an iPhone, we recycle it for you and you get something. Is that what you're talking about? I heard about that. Yeah. I heard about that. I don't know about the four. I guess it doesn't matter what iPhone right. you have, yeah. what model. But I I think there's something in those you know old iPhones that they can use to to make it better. It, it, it's a model you're talking about. Yes. They can, they can make it better using those old models. I think this issue not, is not just only limited to the Apple. 
because you know I can tell what okay, the bottom line for Apple. If we boil down everything, the bottom line to Apple's business model that's uh, consumerism. I believe we're gonna agree with it. It's called consumerism. Consumerism means you create your customer, you create a consumer, and then you bring in your product, then you sell to your customer, and better off your customer is your fans. That really mean you will have less rejection. That means whatever you say, they accept it. So it's better off you can transform your customer to your fans. So they're gonna accept more easily whatever you introduce them. But bottom line is the same, consumerism. And the issue, the, the magic for consumerism is you want to repeat them as quick as possible. That is, that's magic, okay. But the bottom line, is, as I say, is not just for the Apple, it's for the global, okay. Once we have a more and more consumerism, then you need to face the problem. How would you gonna recycle the last generation? Th this is a global issue, it's not just limited to the Apple, it's, you know, as, as she just brought out, right? This is a global, it's not limited to, to Apple, it's sent into Samsung. Right now, Samsung even so more, right? Same thing. So I think right now we can see the, 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 the point down the, the business model is consumerism. Okay. So again, so anybody, if we skip the questions, okay, or you want to say that more, it's fine. If you want Tim Cook, when you see iPhone 5, what could be your nightmare? for the Apple future in the next two years. If you talk about this issue, or you can give us your idea. You say, I'm not Tim Cook, I'm me, okay? I can say this is Apple's future in the three years when I see iPhone 5. Do you have the answer, everybody? Or you have a comment? It's very, very, very broad, very, very broad. Comment. For example, to be more realistic, because uh, I don't know, for next generation, if they want to create more business, probably not just create iPhone 5, mm -hmm. they must create another i something. Mm -hmm. So maybe iTV or i something else, i whatever. Three D stuff, three D phones, Taiwan, incredible price, something better technology, new, new ideas. Yeah, uh, I think uh, regarding this uh, old phone, uh, it's not really a big problem because what happened is most of the phone right now is a phone. But actually, it's more than a phone because it has all the other. But this, you can use it as an iPod. You can still listen to music. You can yeah. still use it as a camera. You can still play games. You can so this, other than phone by itself, you still got a big market that people can use it. So I don't think they will worry about this old phone goes because the old phone can go a lot of places. And can domain them. Uh, so in the third country is still using. So still big market there. So they, they just focus on futures and then create some more stuff. I've seen 3D pictures showing on some of the Samsung phone before like about a year ago, but still they didn't take off the iPhone for some reason. Um, I would say they must come out something. But this brand by itself is a brand. They can use this to continue. So they create this brand, and anything they come out will be a big, big That's what I was thinking. Eventually, I, I have one question from, uh, I have one answer for my questions. If I were Tim Cook, my nightmare is uh, my Apple become another Cisco tomorrow. Cisco. I'm sorry, Tim. 
my app will become another Cisco tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Cisco is still big, right? Still, at least financially, is still healthy. But less and less people talk about Cisco. Still big company there, still there, you know, still leading in the network hardware area, still number one. But we don't see too much new innovation or new product there. So eventually, you know, when I thought about my questions, I wanted to design a question for the day. If I were Tim Cook, I really worried about my nightmare is every night I dream about my Apple become Cisco tomorrow. Still, you know, we are the leader, but less and less people talk about it. And of course, you know, if you become Cisco, you know the value is no more number one. I don't know where is Cisco. I try to find a Cisco. You know. Must be somewhere, you know. Cisco is still the brand name, you know. But of course, you know, Cisco is not really the consumer product. It's more like industry. But you know, my, my answer to my question is, if I were Tim Cook, I really worry about my company become Cisco tomorrow. But that's my answer. You, know, you may not agree with me, but really, you know, because when I see iPhone 5, I still agree, you know, it's a cool stuff. And uh, if I got one, I may also show off on Facebook to show off to my friend. I got one, you know. <laughs> you don't have that, but I got one. Here it is. But when I say the same thing, I believe I see uh, it's a majority feedback. Well, just within one year, uh, well, you, know, you introduce it. I got one, you know, from 4S to, to 5, but what's the big deal different? I don't see too much, uh, um, you know, except it is a new item. I just want to keep my position as the current one, you know, keep my status, eventually keep my status, and to prove to my friend I'm a very loyal Apple fan, and I believe this is it. I, I, I really don't see I spend another $200 to get a new one was really the, the real benefit. And if this feeling repeat over and over again, they're gonna lose their fans. Same thing, you just, just like you watch the same movie, even though you like the actor, you like the, the director, you like the, you know, the plot very well, but the same movie just showing over and over again, then you will lose the fans. I don't know, any other comment, any other? So if it, eventually when I see iPhone 5, I, I'm kind of worried about that, unless they can introduce more real eye thing, you know, real eye. Otherwise, really, it's just a nightmare. If, if, if they just introduce another iPhone 6, iPhone 7, I think this is not the real solution for Apple. They must, they must introduce something really eye, eye something. Say iTV, iMovie, i whatever, you know. Then that's really the nightmare. Okay, we're gonna start for your discussion. Who, who, who want, anyone want to be the first? Your final project. If no such person, I'm going to call the row one by one. So anyone, talk about your final project. It's not too early to talk about your final project. So Steve, you want to, Steven, you want to talk about your final project? And focus on business model. Introduce your final project, right then. We discuss it. Do you have any name about about the, the business? The name of the business? You mean uh, your the final project, right? Okay. Um, it is going to be uh, a plan. Uh, TV tuner. TV tuner. Okay. Tuner. Uh, one and the R. Yeah. Okay, TV tuner. Okay, talk, talk about that. Basically, uh, we focus on the customer. We talk about focus on the value. You know, focus on the, the definition I just gave to you. All right. So yes, go ahead. Okay, the customer of this TV tuner uh, basically are several different markets. One of the market is the mobile devices. Mobile devices? Yeah. Okay. Because the reason why the government is TV tuner is because of mobile devices. So, so hold on one second, okay. When you say your customer is industry or 
consumer. It's the industry. So you sold to the manufacturer, right? Correct. You sold your technology to manufacturer. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then uh, this could be uh, mobile devices. One area. The other area could be uh, computers. Okay. Let's have a mobile with air, right? Yeah. So the other one. You can build into the computer. Correct. Give us a little bit idea, okay? What kind of application gonna be? What's the final product? Basically, uh, that could be a tuner. Uh, it's a a chip, yeah. A chips, right? Yeah. All right. And then this chip can do the tuner uh, features, okay. which it, which can accept the broadcasted uh, TV okay. uh, signals. Okay. And then uh, just like the uh, TV, okay. That TV can be used in the mobile device. Okay. Uh, it, it, the reason for that TV device actually is is out there, but uh, most mostly are used in the TV by itself. So uh, the power is basically the issue because in the regular TV you have a plug-in, you have a, a limited power. On a mobile device, if you start using batteries, when you watch TVs, it's going to. I watch I, I watch your video the other day on the YouTube. Okay, it is about one app. You can download it to your cell phone. Then you, you can watch TV. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's not the broadcasting. Okay. Yeah. All right. It so what's your what's the difference between your device to the app? I believe right now people can download the app to your cell phone that you can watch. I don't know if it's illegal or in, in, illegal. I don't know, okay? Because somehow if you, if you download something from the, uh, from the TV program, I was told some of those are, are not, not legal. So what's the difference between your device from those apps? The, the difference is even you don't have the internet, you can still watch TV. <laughs> Through the broadcast? Yeah. The broadcast. Yeah, because most of the time, you're in somewhere you you don't have you don't have the you don't have the uh, internet, and then your basically mobile devices no use. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But my question is to you, or anybody you have questions. About, but my question is to you. Right now, the channel through broadcast is very limited. Am I right? Because you know, for those. Major, majority programs actually go through the cable or satellite. Yeah. So if your device can only transmit the broadcast program, is very, very limited. Yeah, but that's free, first thing. And the second one is that if you're traveling around, you're able to receive the local uh, broadcast. Uh, so you think that's okay? Yeah. Right? So Still, people are buying the TVs. Still getting this broadcast information because cable is not cheap. All right. So yeah. you your product is you you use the IC chips, building to either cell phone or your computer. Then your device can catch the broadcast TV program, and for free. All right. Good. All right. Good idea. Anybody, Maria? Sure. Any name of the your event master. Event. Oh, event. Ah, oh, good. It's gonna be one word. A oh, one word. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the reason why we discuss your final purchase here because you know, as I say, I want everybody. You. Go ahead to prepare your final project right now. Don't wait for the last week or last day, okay? And I'll, I want to make sure, okay, through this group discussion, you can, you can get a response from your classmate, okay? Because to, to, to make out the one, you know, 15 minutes presentation is very easy, but I don't believe you get too much thing. So from, to, from this week on, for each week, 
for each session we meet, we're going to discuss your final project. Hopefully, you don't change your subject. Okay? Hopefully, you keep your same project. Mm -hmm. However, each time when we discuss, we focus on different area. For example, for today, we discuss about business model. For the other day, we may talk about your, your team member. Who's going to be your team member or your, your finance plan? How did you get your finance support? All right. So hopefully, we, when you discuss your project here, hopefully you stick with it. But for very, very special reason, you change your topic, it's okay. But I hope you can keep your project. And if we don't finish for the day, we will continue. And if you finish for the day, next time, I may ask you, what is your financial plan? How can you get the funding? All right. Sorry about that. Maria, come back to you. Um, like I said, that's a uh, one word event master. Okay. All right, tell us more. Okay. Um, by going through the um, it's business a service, plan, right? It's a service type, right? It's going to be a service. Service. Um, it's going to be just one word and a small letter for the M. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. It's gonna be on the internet, or it's. Uh, I'm gonna start with you know working at home first until I get really um, good at it. We're talking about working at home. I have a full time job right now. The more I do research about it, the more I'm like I wanted to do it. You know, I can probably use this for my capstone. Yeah, tell us, okay. Who's gonna be your customer? It's going to be um, my targets going to be those people who have, you know, busy schedules. Busy schedule. Okay. Busy, you know, the, even the professionals um, don't have time to do it. They can always con connect with me through in internet, call, you know, contact me by email, phone, and then sooner or later when I don't have time anymore, I can probably just quit my, my day job and work on this full time. So your function is more like a secretary, am I right? Yeah, I'm really good at you know, okay. doing all that. Your function is more like a secretary. Then people just contact you to let you know, say, hey, Maria, uh, my business schedule is so and so, and please coordinate this, this, this for me. Organizing an event. Organize. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. So, through the internet? Yeah. At the beginning, through, through the internet. internet. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll be creating a website for, you know, for the business. Which I'm, I'm, that's why I, you know, that's what I do. And your fee charge is based on what? It's based on the event or based on it's how much time you're going to spend? It's going to be based on um, what type of event they want to do. It's going to be different type of uh, event. Uh, most likely, I'm, I'm looking into wedding events. Okay. Um, there, there are there are tons of events that they can pick up. They, they, they call me up or contact me. But I, I, this morning I've seen a lot of wedding um, websites, and it's pretty interesting. And in, you know how they charge to begin with, and we're talking about providing all the uh, equipment rentals for the uh, clients. So you more like a coordinator? Yes. Uh, and at the beginning, probably is more like event based, huh? Yeah, um, I can give you one example that I worked with this morning. My mission. Our mission is um, to give you peace <coughs> of mind in organizing your event. We sincerely care about your satisfaction. If you're happy, we're happy. Let our peace of mind be yours. That's good. And uh, also, your business could be expanded to global, not necessarily local, could yes. be anywhere. In, in our area, in the Monarch Peninsula Bay area, uh, there's not a lot. There's only like six. Actually, only four of them got websites. Wow. And so, so I mean, it's, it's a good place to start my business. So you done your survey, huh? Yes. You have any idea about the fee schedule? So even though it's an event basis, have you done any competitive analysis? One website I looked at this morning, to begin with, 35000 
just for the wedding, everything. We're talking wow. about all, all expense paid. Wow. Okay. So you're done. Yeah. So you want to keep the same range above there or below there? You have any I'm idea? I'm going to try to make it affordable for, you know, for